god what is happening right now is this the type of life you said i should come and live in this world life with no money <laughs> hello 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 people <laughs> so he's back here yes yeah, so i am finally back to my youtube channel hallelujah okay kind of applause <laughs> so guys welcome back to my youtube channel and my name is adekule feolua you can also call me the alpha or you call me alpha glam or you call me fair adek or you call me adek see nicknames there are plenty <laughs> but it's so good to be here and for short you can call me ife but i don't think i'm used to the sound of people calling me ife yes but you can call me ife that's my name so guys it's so good to be back here like it's been a long time yes it's last year november last year november because i can remember it was my sister's birthday we made a birthday video and i mentioned in that video that i was not so sure i was going to be consistent throughout the year 2020 because i still had law school on my neck and this year early this year law school continued but voila see who is back here yes i finally have my life back to myself like ah thank god it was a hmm, i don't know how to put it an interesting funny really scary ride but i'm happy to be done with the nigerian law school so yes this video is about a life update what i've been up to what has been happening to me and we all know majorly that what has been happening to me has been law school okay so let me start story story once upon a time <laughs> because yes my nigerian law school experience was a story so now in the life of adekune felua who is from the city of abeokuta <laughs> guys don't mind me i'm just so excited to be here so yes i think if i'm going to say this story or if i'm going to tell you my life update it should just be better or it should just be proper for me to start from last year so guys remember that last year was the corona year well they still say there's corona but we know that that's turned to something else they are just using it to get money i don't think they are really serious but if you can get vaccinated please get vaccinated you even need to get vaccinated i don't know when i'm going for my vaccine god injection on my body so that aside so last year i enrolled as a student of the nigerian law school i chose abuja and lagos and lo and behold i was thrown to enugu yes agbani enugu so i went to enugu so as at last year february march i was in nigerian i was in the nigerian law school we are receiving lectures as a normal student till corona happened so lo and behold everybody had to go i got back to my city abiyokuta then no jobs nothing nothing i had to start my youtube channel again so i was active i was consistent right <laughs> Yes, I was actually active. I was consistent. I was doing all things before Nigerian Law School published that or they released the notice that I will be having online lectures. Hmm. This online lectures was a terrible, I think it was really a terrible decision on their part because it was not exactly what you expect an online class to be like. They sent us PDF files, they sent us, it was just i don't know our set was oh god well someone nicknamed us the pandemic set well it's actually correct because honestly our set was just heavy it was just summer so we had the online classes trust your girl i was very serious the first week i was attending class imagine them using google meet that could only take 270 people for 5,000 students it was really a terrible idea but lo and behold they kept on sending pdf files to our emails we are receiving lectures online lectures well it was good then after by august or october lecture stopped so as a normal student you actually expect that since lectures are stopped probably they will tell us to write online exam well Deep inside me, I was not ready, but I was still like, you didn't even give us online exam. It will be simple. I can pass. I can be done. I just want this stuff. I just want this stage to get right over me. Like I just want to be done with the Nigerian law school. 
we did not hear anything september came nothing october nothing november nothing december nothing like no news from them so around that time a lot of students were panicking some people were saying we can resume anytime and i am a very serious student forget that i play and i joke oh i'm actually serious to some extent <laughs> god please i was actually serious with law school my results father okay and i'll say my story so i was actually very serious then i took it serious i have a friend a star girl um Olari, why you told me see if you know me personally you know her too so she was on my neck if i read your book if i read your book if i read your book and i'm that type of person that once i have something bothering me i tend not to function so well like to just be the number one stuff in my mind like my number one priority and law school was the number one priority as at last year because last year i could remember writing my 2020 goals that god i want to pass well in the nigerian law school so that just meant that i dedicated 2020 to nigerian law school until corona happened so youtube was not part of the plan making money was not part of the plan business was not part of the plan i actually had the I would like potential to postpone it to 2021. Unknown to me that this annoying law school was going to follow me into 2021. Okay. So as at the October, September, when we did not hear any news from them, we felt like they might tell us to resume anytime soon because people were already moving. Corona was not out like the way everybody was saying Corona is outside, stay in though. Everybody was already outside. Everybody was outside. So we're like, okay, probably they'll call us. But lo and behold, there was no news from them and that actually affected a lot of people who had to read and everything so trust me now street girl as i did even though i was still trying to read my book i carried my business back on i cannot be broke when well, i was really broke last year but i cannot shall keep on sleeping and not be broke and i tell you i'm this type of person that i hate being idle once i'm idle i can be depressed i'll feel like god what is happening right now is this the type of life life with no money <laughs> so guys i had to dust my makeup bag dust everything i started carrying i started going for jobs taking appointments taking bookings doing makeup jobs and everything but i was no longer interested in the youtube so that was why i was not consistent so as at last year last year came and it went and there was nothing nothing so early this year january it was time to make new year resolution guys i don't know how it is or how you will feel when you realize that you don't even know the precise goals to make for the year like you don't know the resolution to make for the new year i did not know if i should put it down that i want to really pass in the nigerian law school or i wanted to take my business serious it was that bad like i was in a i was in a fix so I don't know what to write. Do you write that I want to take YouTube serious this year? I want to take my business serious this year? Or I should write that I want to read well this year. I want to pass Nigerian law school. I want to pass Nigerian law school exams properly or very well this year. It was just so confusing. Then, lo and behold, a notice came out from them saying we are going to resume January 4. Yes, January 4. In my mind, I really felt like January 4. Is that possible? To be honest, was it even January 4? I shouldn't do it on January something. I did not put my mind to it. Then, but you know, even though you don't put your mind to it, you still be scared that oh, probably if you resume and everything. So I had to start preparing like a little bit of preparation here and there. No, I don't really do anything, but I was sure trying to prepare. So tragedy struck, and uh, well, I was in the room at my place in the lay fair. Then I was robbed. I was a robber came into my room, stole my phone. Then after that again, he reduced some amount. January was just summer for me, like I was without my phone. Then I had to go through SIM registration orders, like it was so crazy. You see, I had to use like two weeks to get a new SIM and to register a new SIM. It was that bad, and the SIM was the most important thing to me because that is the number everybody knows me with. I can't say I want to get a new SIM. A new and SIM, if, then getting a new SIM, I had to get a new phone so i got a new phone and around that time when i was about getting a new phone and everything that was when we were told that we are going to resume february so lo and behold i had to pack my stuffs and 
back to Enugum Agban. Well, getting back to the Nigerian law school, it was still the normal thing, the same thing. I went to school thinking that, okay, oh, the old online class they taught us, we are going to have a new, how would I put it, they are, going to, they are going to teach us again, they are going to teach us the topic, since the online class they did was like a scam, like, mm, it was like a charade, yes, it was like caricature. <laughs> so just not something that you expect students to rely on so the calendar they released as at january was that we are going to have four month lectures so we resume thinking that we're going to have four month lectures we're going to go to class everything will be back to normal then they released a notice saying that we had just two months it's not even like to be two months too. it was a month and three weeks you can imagine for us to finish the whole section Hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, like me, that's not me reading. Oh, my God, I don't know why I keep on saying, oh, <laughs> Voila. oh, God, you should have seen me that night. I'm sure if my roommates are watching this video, that's Simi Buck and um, Ore. I'm sure they will be laughing because the way I was so dramatic that night, I was like, because when I was coming back to the Nigerian law school, what I had in my head was that I had 120 days to get my grant back, like to read up and do everything and make sure that I am ready to write the exams. Then I reduced it to less than 60 days. Operation 120 days don't crash with that. Oh um, more, it was so bad. Hey God, what am I saying? Oh um, more, um, please pardon me. But it was really bad. Like I was not so, I was so scared. I started panicking. Ah, <sighs> those two months were, I don't want to say hell, but no, it was, it was not it. I had to start reading, 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 reading. Ah, I read though. Um, uh, <laughs> I read though. Ah, oh, God. I was sure reading, reading, reading. No time to play. No time to catch crews. No time to. Well, I still tried my best to my friends to dance, to do a lot of things, to enjoy the moment. Yeah, videos. I'll be showing you different videos of doing when I was doing stuff like that and everything. But. When you know that you have a limited time and within that limited time you have to make you have to make an effort that at least people know that okay throughout the whole year 2020 and 2021 you do not waste it so i had to just keep on reading 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 and thank god it was not so bad we organized prayers <laughs> god. the fear was real oh everybody was scared like ah well, our 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 set. I would not say it is a normal set. I would say it is a spiritual set because it is only God that can do it. And I hopefully, I actually, I actually know already in my heart that the results are going to be bomb. They are going to be very good results. Like our results are going to be, they are going to be very nice. But still, those two months we are just a different ball game it was like i was living in the shadow of myself don't mind me oh my, i don't have to live in the shadow <laughs> but i was just so scared and everything well i read i prayed to god you should see me i was a prayer warrior <laughs> i'm laughing now it is easy for me to laugh now if you saw me then you will know that it was not a laughing matter then we had to a lot of things but i'm happy it is all over then before we knew it fast forward to exams we had, we had a lecture free week then we started writing exams on saturday and before you know it monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday it was marathon marathon like nigerian law school is just i think for nigerian law school anyone that is going the best advice i will give to you is start reading early start studying early enough like you have to be able to know that you are ready for a particular course or ready for a particular yes ready for a particular course before you enter the exam week because if you are not ready you cannot cover everything within that week within lecture free week you cannot cover everything i think i read each courses like three to four times 
I read it over and over and over. I still, there is still a lot of things that were uh, looping from my head because it was too bulky. Like, I think that is what makes the system really somehow not so good. It is the workload, like, the, the volume of work to read was just so much. So, sure, I shall read, shall read it and we conquered because I know I've conquered already when my results comes out to be bombed in Jesus' name. God, please. So, after the Nigerian law school, me and my friends we went out, we did a lot of stuff before leaving any phone. Nothing much. I had reading partners, Tolu, Rachel, Priscilla, my roommate. It was just, it was just God. It was just God that just helped us. So don't worry. When it is time for call to bar, most likely I will make another video. So now that was pre. We had pre Nigerian law school pandemic set lectures. <laughs> that was 2020. We had during. Nigerian law school pandemic lectures that was February to March. We now have post Nigerian law school pandemic. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but that's just it. So, what I'm trying to say is that after writing the exams and when you are finally out of the system, it is like you just got out of a trauma. Like, I started having dreams. Like, there was a day I dreamt that a friend of mine, both of us were reading together, and we forgot that we were having exams. Not that we forgot, we read and we have started the exams, and we got to the exam, examination center late. Like, just funny dreams. Or oh, one day I would just wake up and remember one mistake I made in my exam. Oh no. Oh God, 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 God. This is just so crazy <laughs> like so much fear but i've prayed about it and i keep on praying about it i believe that it's settled so that is just it about my life update it is it actually revolves around nigerian law school because that was what i was really active or that was what i was really doing as at that point okay before i make my story too long right now your girl is awaiting her result please pray for me pray for me it is not by power or by mind it is by god because my dear law school is not what you can do by your power and your might honestly if i tell you that it is by power I'm serious, it is not by power. So, if you are a prospective Nigerian law school student, please start reading, start studying, start praying. Just try to start getting ready because it is it is it is a different ball game. It is easier said than done. It is when you are into it, that is when you can really experience it. There was a quote or you know, not a quote, a classmate of mine that posted a status that said, You cannot really explain it. It is like the Holy Spirit. When you have the Holy Spirit, you cannot explain it. It is until when it enters you and you are passing through it. That is when you understand. <laughs> yes, it is that serious. And I'm not exaggerating. And you can imagine a set or someone like me that I did not experience the full Nigerian law school experience. Like it was abridged because of Corona and everything. I had like six weeks to prepare for exams. So you can imagine how tough it was. But I'm happy that it is over. So that is it, guys. Now I'm awaiting results and I'm back home, back to business, back to YouTube. So now I'll be dropping videos. I pray to be consistent. I pray to give you the best videos you want to see. I pray to blow. <laughs> and I'm also I'm awaiting NYSC. So all this you will just throughout this year. I expect that I should be making videos so you should know what I'm up to at every point in my life so right now a girl is back and i'm happy to be back here with you guys and i hope we'll be able to enjoy this year with no disease or anything 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 coming up so guys it's nice being on this seat one more time until i drop subsequent videos don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to comment let me know your thoughts yes so till next time bye